Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over seven of my favorite freeze frame transitions in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see, here are all the different freeze frame transitions. In this video, I kind of want to break down um, every single one of them. This is not going to be like a step by step tutorial, this is going to be more of me just kind of breaking down all these individual um, freeze frame effects. And then I've, I've of course made more um, freeze frames, I think I've made like 15 or 20 of them. But I want to go over seven of my favorites, and of course, you can go ahead and just search up like my name and freeze frames, and you can find a whole bunch of other freeze frames. But these, again, like I said before, are just some of my uh, favorites. So let's head over here, and I want to go over the first one, which is the sliding freeze frame right here. So as you can see right here, these hold for 15 frames, so well, 15 frames. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the beginning of the freeze frame right here, you're going to place a keyframe on the position right here on the x axis and then you're going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now the x axis is at 0 and then i just held it for 1 2 3 4 5 frames and there you go that's how you create the sliding freeze frame effect. Now below it, I just put a glow animation. You obviously don't have to put a glow animation um, with the sliding freeze frame, but that's what I chose to do right there. Now let's go over and scroll to the next one, which is the pop and freeze frame. So let's go here. Now again, just hit a disclaimer, you could actually add a glow outline to every single one of your freeze frames, but I just did it to a couple of them. So anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the beginning here of the pop in. And you're gonna have the scale at 0%, and this one holds for 15 frames. So we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10 right there. And as you can see, the scale is back to 100%, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there you go, you've transitioned. So it holds for 15 frames. Scale is being keyframed from 0 to 100, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there you go. You have created the poppin' freeze frame. Now let's head over to the next one, which is the wave of freeze frame right there. As you can see, this is what it looks like right here. Now this one, again, also holds for 15 frames. As you can see right here, again, I put a glow outline, um, but of course you don't have to. So this holds for 15 frames. So I applied a security effect, saturations at one, and then I turned off the show time, show date, and then I clicked off the show labels and then obviously I have a draw mask because every single one of these needs a draw mask and then I went apply a waveform I set the amount to 90% keyframed it and then went so you can watch the amount of the wave I went 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then I held it 1 2 3 4 5 there we go so all you're doing is you're just applying a security effect onto it right there and then we're going to go ahead and key from the amount 90 to 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then hold it for 5 more frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I want to head over to the stutter freeze frame right here. So this is what it looks like right here. You can of course adjust it to your liking. But what I did was each of these holds for 3 frames right here. So holds for 3 frames and there's 5 of them which means in total it adds up to 15 frames. So there's 5 of them and each of them holds for 3 frames. So what I just did was I had the scale at 20 right here. So what, so you can, as you can see right there, so scale at 20, 1, 2, 3, now the scale um, is at uh, 40 right here, so then we'll go 1, 2, 3, go to the next one, the scale should be at 60 right there, then we'll go 1, 2, 3, go right here, the scale should be at 80 right there, and then 1, 2, 3, the scale is all, is the scale is all the way back up to 100%. So instead of it keyframing, it's actually just every three frames the scale changes. So I definitely think it's a pretty unique effect. I definitely really like this effect right here. So it's literally just the scale is changing um, every three frames right there. And it creates this really cool kind of um, transition. I personally really like it and hopefully you also like it too. So let's head over to the next one. And this is the clone effect right here. So you can see, I guess I'll start here. So you have the middle, you have the middle person, which is right here. You have the right side, which is right here, and then the left side, which is right there. You need the middle to be on the top because you want it to pan back into each other. As you can see, here is a compound clip right here. Inside the compound clip right here, you just have 
um, the three of him in the middle, the right side, which the right side should be at 600 right there, and then the left side is at negative 600 right there. Nothing's moving right there, and then you just create it. You just put it into a compound clip, and then we're going to go to the clone um, right here. So you can see the position is at negative 950. So we'll go, and this holds for 10 frames. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now it's back to uh, the y axis is back to 0 right there. And then as you can see right here, you have the middle and the right side. So I'll go here, and then it's the same thing for the other side right here. So the position is key for about 600. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 10 and there you go and then just hold for five frames and it's the exact same thing um, for the left side right here so we're at negative 600 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so let's head over to the glow one right here, which is going to be, I believe, the sixth one right here. So inside the glow one, all these compound clips are exactly the same. You just have the top clip right here, and then in the bottom, you just have the glow outline with the color board, color board and a focus blur right there, and it's the same for all of these compound clips. Now this holds for 10 frames, this holds for 7 frames, and this holds for 4 frames. So we'll go like this, so we'll go 1, 2, three right here and then one two three right here and then one two three four and now you've transitioned into the second clip right there so again one two three one two three and then one two three four again the bottom one holds for ten frames seven frames and then four frames right there now I want to go over how to create the final one which is the panning effect right there so inside the compound clip right here this is definitely can get a little complicated right here but what you're just going to do I was going to show you the numbers so the bottom clips bottom clip holds for 10 frames this holds for 8 frames this holds for 6 frames this holds for 4 frames and then this holds for 2 frames so all you're doing right here is you're literally just creating a pyramid so one frame the next one one frame the next one one frame so all you're basically just doing is you're literally just creating a pyramid so I'm gonna hold it for a frame right here and then you literally just this effect is literally just created by basically using a pyramid effect right there and there you go that's basically what's inside of the compound clip and then I encourage you to create a compound clip because if you have like six layers it can definitely slow um, your computer down so having a compound clip definitely helps speed things up because the less layers are the faster your computer will be I think that's proven but I don't know I can't guarantee that but anyways as you can see right there, there is the panning effect. So let's go frame by frame. Again, this compound clip holds for 10 frames. So one frame, two frame, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there you go. That's how you create this really cool panning freeze frame right there. I believe I went through every single one of them. Hopefully, looking back uh, while I'm editing this video, I didn't miss any of them. But there you go. I'll kind of go fast to kind of show you. So I'll kind of go fast here. So you have um, right here, you have the sliding freeze frame um, right there. And then right here, you have a pop and freeze frame um, right here. And the next one should be the wave freeze frame right there, following up with the stutter freeze frame um, right there. And then lastly, or oh, well, three more, you have the cloning effect right here and then we'll just have the glowing one which is coming up right here so you have the glow one right here and then you have the painting freeze frame right there and voila you have created those are seven of my favorite freeze frames right there again the final thing you want to do or i'm not sure if i mentioned this or not you want to make sure there's motion blur on any of the things that are moving so if it's being keyframed you want to add motion blur but obviously if there's no animation no keyframing don't add um, any motion blur if i've skipped anything or there's a couple of things you want to you learn more about them go ahead and search up one of those um, on my channel and i've already made a video on it i've already made a video on all of these um, freeze frames so i kind of want to kind to put it all together so this is just more of a breakdown um, this is not again like this wasn't a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a freeze frame these are just some of my favorites I'm sure you probably already know how to create a freeze frame or you probably wouldn't be watching this I've already made a couple videos breaking down freeze frames but those are seven of my favorites anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one.
Peace. Thank you.